It is May 5th, 2004, 15. <laughs> um, happy Cinco de Mayo. Awesome. I know it's been a while since I've seen you guys. It's probably, uh, since I've been on here, it's probably been December 25th, so probably about five, almost four or five months. So, uh, a lot has changed, and it's all for the better. Well, most of it, <laughs> but... You know me, uh, life is always up and down, but I, I'm doing so much better, and I'm happy about it, and I am so happy to be posting this video again. I I just missed miss, um, talking to you guys, and, well, you know what I mean, <laughs> but I miss posting videos and going from there. I, I've been a little more proactive in my life, and I started new medication, which is Stratera. It's an ADHD medication, which has helped me so much. Um, it's been crazy, but I sleep better at night. I think better. I think more cl even clearer than before, and I just, I just feel better than I ever had before and I feel like a better me and the me that I've always wanted to be. I'm a lot more outgoing. I am a lot less stressed. I just, I feel awesome. And I mean, I still have these ups and downs, but they're not bad like they were before, like where I just wanted to lay in bed and stay funky. Um, one downfall is my sugars have been out of whack. And so it causes me to be funky in the morning if I don't eat right when I wake up. Um, my stomach will hurt so bad because I'm hungry and I will be funky all day and I'll be a little moody, maybe a little depresso and it's just not cool. But my my blood sugar, when it drops down, either I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm energetic or I'm very lethargic. So it's kind of a roller coaster for me because I'm never sure what, what I'm going to experience. But... Things are going well. I'm still single, which is awesome. Um, I'm getting a little more time to experience my apartment to myself and not have to worry about that and explore my single life in my own place, which I didn't at first get to do that because I jumped into a relationship a month after I moved in. Um, the bad thing is I still uh, hang out with my ex's nephews and so it's a little crazy. But it's fun because I love those little kids to death. And I just, I want the best for them because I just, I feel that they need more support than they're getting right now from their parents. And their parents are still trying to find their own way because they got married and they had a kid when they were like 17 or 18. So that's pretty young and they didn't get to experience their life. So I kind of find it as a healthy approach that they got divorced and it's not bitter, bitter, angry, but there's still some resentment from both of them that they're kind of playing against each other and playing against the kids. So the kids are kind of suffering in the middle. Um, I've offered them, I've recommended counseling to them so that way they could try to help resolve the kids' issues and just make sure that the kids are supported, but also counseling to them, to the parents as well, because their decisions that they made kind of are healthy but they're unhealthy at the same time because it's kind of destructive because instead of talking it out and trying to get things done they don't so but I uh, <laughs> I always have something that I'm fighting and whether it be my old job whether it be my apartment whether it be a fucking bum mechanic excuse my language, but um, I've been dealing with my apartment complex lately and they haven't been wanting to repair any of my stuff, any of my, uh, any of my um, broken items, like uh, my dryer vent was clogged for over a year and they didn't fix it, and then I got an argument with the building management, <laughs> um, the building um, repair guy and the maintenance guy. And what ended up happening is he told me that it wasn't broken, that they went over there three or four times, and there's nothing in the line. Well, come to find out that I, I knew that I was already clogged, but I didn't know what to do. So I finally served them a 10-day notice, um, actually a 5-day notice, um, to 
um, to for a repair request and they failed to comply. So I ended up having a tech come out and there's like the big ol' big ol' volleyball size lint ball that came out. I mean, it wasn't like that big when it came out, but it was like a whole bunch of them and it was just this big when it came out. So it was crazy and just to realize that they kept calling me a liar and saying that it wasn't broken and it was. So that's one of the issues. The other issue was my AC vent as well. Um, it stopped blowing cold and it turns out that the that they duct taped it onto the <laughs> um, I keep forgetting what it's called, but yeah, they um, the box and then uh, the star color, I guess. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. And they duct taped it to that. I guess it wore out over the years and it just fell off. Uh, a lot of this house is duct taped. Like the AC vent, there's, I mean, um, the dryer vent, there's holes in it. And it was actually duct taped together as well. So that was funny. Um, they took away our parking and they violated my lease agreement and I keep standing up to them but they won't budge so I'm gonna file uh, a complaint with the uh, BBB again because they ignored the first one I'm gonna file a complaint with the uh, Attorney General and I'm gonna contact the the owner of the complex so that way we can get this issue resolved and hopefully this management will be bye bye but things are going awesome. I have a great support system. Um, my friend who I've known for over four or five years, um, I've been hanging out with his family and his sister is awesome. He's awesome. His other sister, sister is awesome. And his niece is just, I love her to death. And she's just, she's taking advantage of what she's had and she's going on a trip to Europe which I wish I would have done for my graduation um, with school or something but I didn't have that luxury so I'm I'm glad that she does I'm glad that she's working for what she wants and what she needs so she just got a car um, she has two jobs it's just crazy how young she is and she's doing all this stuff she's she's a pretty crazy chick but I love her because she's just awesome but you guys, I hope you guys are all well, and I'm going to cut this video off. Um, just let me know. Hit me up if you guys want. Um, you guys are always welcome to. You guys can uh, email me at KID7688, the number 4, and then ever, E-V-E-R, at gmail.com. Or you guys can just try to leave a comment on my post. Um, the two new people, well, I'm on Stratera. And I'm on um, Tegretol, which is carbamazepine. And then I'm also on folic acid, which is supposed to help me. And I'm receiving... Bleh, I can't think right now. Receiving acupuncture. And I'm about to go out of town this week. So remember, happy single de Mayo. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. And I will see you guys soon, hopefully. And maybe all the videos I've done before this will actually make their way back up on the website. Sadly. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Take care.